What's up guys, Brad here, and today we're doing our first Let's Play of Diablo 2 Resurrected. Um, so if I sound a little congested, it's because allergies are kicking my butt. And uh, new house, new everything. So getting set up here, uh, doing everything. I want to uh, go through the game, kind of just do a nice solo self-found Let's Play, and let's actually bring it back. Do it a hardcore... And we'll do the pre-expansion classic mode with the Barbarian. So last time, if you guys didn't see, this was like five, six years ago, I think. Might have been like 2016 or so. Um, I played I played a uh, solo cell phone Barbarian hardcore classic. And um, we ended up dying. So trying to keep it somewhat casual and... Uh, didn't work out, but I have new plans as what to do. Um, look at that stash. <laughs> so basically, um, what we're going to do is, well, what I would like to do, I gotta change up this controls. So, B, C, D, D, S. And I guess the mercenary doesn't even matter because there is none. And I like to zoom with that. Alright, so, um... My plan is... To roll double swing. For the most part. Um, uh, I don't know... How well it's gonna do in Classic. I've... You know, I haven't played Classic a ton. And, um... But I'm really, really wanting to. So we'll see how far we can get into it. Um, hopefully... We can keep this going into hell, but my original plan always is like, oh yeah, I'd like to run through pretty far, but I usually end up just doing like normal, and then I want to move on to something else. So, um, I've been theorycrafting a lot of ideas for videos and uh, things I could do in general, and this has been one of them. I always want to kind of go back to this. Um, the Barbarian is my favorite class, so, um, makes it easy for me to kind of go back and play with him. Then also, um, I want to do some, like, challenge runs, I want to, um, just do a little bit of everything. Classic mode runs, um, maybe some, like, farming videos, you know, what I find, what not, um. Keep it somewhat simple. Keep this basic for the beginning here. Okay, get into the Den of Evil here. And I'm gonna cut some stuff out. There's like long running and whatnot. So keep it uh, somewhat nice and there are compact. Here. Okay, so Den of Evil. Time to uh, cleanse it. This will, you know, it's going to be slow in the beginning. Um, I'm going to try not to backtrack and farm too, too much. Because I think it makes it a little more interesting. Makes it a little tougher. Um, I, and that's just, I guess, personal preference for myself. I'll use that club instead.
And but if I end up doing something, if like if I'm like super just under geared and there's like no prayer for me to face off against I don't know, Diablo or something at the end. Maybe I'll do like one run of something. Like I'll keep it to a minimum if I do any uh, farming. Just to keep it interesting, like I said. But kind of the nice thing about um, playing classic that I like is there's no runes, no jewels, no charms. Very, very basic um, in the beginning. Like, and you're reliant on a lot of rare items. So it's kind of interesting. up that vitality in the beginning. Also, there's no weapon swapping in this version. No exceptional or elite items. So very minimal uh, in the item front. Did it? Might as well pick the that up. Are safe for the moment. We'll wear that cap for um, purpose of it being a cap, and we don't have one. I do. Yes. Uh, we got our skill points. Um, that is pretty nice. I think I'll do this. Offhand, possibly keep the axe instead. Right now, we're fine. Um, but we really didn't find much. Right, just to make ourselves run a little bit better, we'll do that. Um, I want to check actually. I don't even know. Could get rid of this dagger. It doesn't really do much, but it's only a hundred. So yeah, this is gonna be our bread and butter right here. I'm um, grabbing these scepters in the beginning. So that's what we're shooting for. Want to get gold, want to get two sockets in them, and uh, basically start going into Mace Mastery so we can double swing them. I am not putting a single point into anything on the uh, Warcry Mastery because early game it doesn't really matter. I'll respect later on to go against, uh, you know, to do battle orders and whatnot. But right now it's like, what, what does it matter? I, like me getting Shout doesn't do anything. Howl doesn't do anything. I mean, a uh, battle cry would be nice. So. I guess I'll take it back and say there's a chance that I put a point into it. But I think it's better off for me to just go into uh, Combat Masteries, do Mace Mastery. Um, obviously, when we get to that point, we'll uh, pump up Mace Mastery and do the... Uh, gotta have these. And then end up doing um, our double swing. Which double swing we just we got to get to level nine so that it's free doesn't really worry about it um we're gonna go into these side areas quick just because um uh, well we want to level up a tiny bit find a little bit of gear like i said i mean i don't sit consider this really farming this is like a side area we could do it um, we're not like backtracking. Take 
these for now. There. So, uh, the game's been out now for about a few weeks. This is single player, and I am going to be focusing on single player for a bit because Battle.net's a little bit messed up. Um, yes, it would be nice because then the character, you know, characters transfer over and whatnot, but Battle.net's like completely messed up on consoles. Uh, there's like these queues and that, everything. We'll see what I was happening. I actually have a new laptop coming in that's better for gaming recording, so I don't know what I'm going to do for the save file of this. I think I could transfer it. Might have to just do a little research on that. Short bow. Not much there. Pick that instead. Might as well identify these. I mean, let's see. Might as well wear that. Might as well pick up these, they're higher end. I am overburdened. Pick that up. That should be better. Like I said, I mean, this is going to be a pretty casual playthrough. Um, just having fun playing a game that I absolutely love. Honestly, I might rather have that. Yep. Ooh, that sells for about 400 or so, 480 I believe. Pretty good amount of gold. Blood Raven. Like, I, I love this remake. It's just too bad they kind of mess some things up with it. And it's mainly like online play. If you play single player, it's pretty good. What is this spell here? Ruby won't be too bad for. Can't pick this key up. Either armor for more health or fire damage. Probably gonna throw it into our scepter when we buy one. Portals will save us a little bit. That's nice. Obviously, this is nice. And we could take the bigger. Why not? I think we're going to wait for these stats. Um, maybe we'll want a little dexterity or something. Who knows? Cleared it out. I think. Oh no, we got a little area up here.
Trying to find anything useful. Alright, I guess it's time for uh, Blood Raven. Let's do this. Let's take some of these out. Good. <clears throat> and we'll take that. Ah. Yeah, that's that's good damage, obviously, but um, comparing that to the uh, <laughs> when you compare it to the scepter that's one-handed and dual wielding it, it's definitely lacking. Eight hundred. We're at 2,000 now. And I mean, we could even just take something like that, but I think for now, we uh, kind of hoard some stuff. Wait a bit. Might as well grab these to save on some space. And should be good. Double check quick. I could be persuaded into something else. Uh, I think we're good. Now we go to the other. The stony field. So the followers, uh, mercenaries, whatever, they do essentially nothing. <laughs> uh, they are not very good in classic, as you can't hook them with gear or anything. So they don't live very long. Um, there is a chance, but once you get overwhelmed, you start to run forward a little bit. That's when you'll notice, like, oh wow, she's already dead. <laughs> There's a scepter four to eight. That's what I mean. Four to eight, and it's a low quality scepter. So, what do we think the uh, first item is going to be, uh, and where? So I'm thinking I'm gonna find a either set or a unique before Andario. I'm gonna guess somewhere around the Smith. I don't know why. I'm just taking a wild guess. Yeah, that stuff quick. Uh, 
short staff usually sells for a decent amount too, so we'll grab that. Does that stamina shrine again? Got the waypoint. Another short bow. I think if there's anything else. No, I don't think so. Might as well just pump that up. Trying to debate on how to split this up as well. Um, do I want to do, you know, something like three quests per video or one act per video? Who knows? Cap. Topaz. This scepter, by the way, it should sell for a lot with all the plus skills. I don't know if low quality makes any difference or not. I don't think so, because it's got 20 plus skills, so I'm thinking it's going to be 5,000 gold. That's the most you can get from Act 1 normal. This is an example of where she's probably going to die. Alright, nope. On the exit. Good. Oh wow, waypoints are here too. Getting pretty lucky. She's definitely dead there. I am overburdened. <laughs> Oof. Chance to hit seems really low. This tree is one of a kind. Yeah, we might as well just do that. 
Yes, the sockets are nice, but... Not necessary. We could always just buy one. I'll just take the higher defense for now. I'm not gonna put anything into it right now. That's just better. Let's go save our boy Kane. Seven, 10. 30. Oh, yeah. I guess it is less because of the... The low quality is what I'm guessing. So the scepters should be able to get me into um, probably Act 3, I would say, before you start really falling off. Oh my gosh, where are you, stupid shaman? Essentially, just looking for a two open socket mace, uh, one handed mace. That would be good enough. Oh boy. I don't even know what it's like, it looks like for uh, damage. What if it's good? Two to eight. Three sockets, too. Oh boy. I might use words like. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. A three socket one hander? Yeah. We'll use his leg. So. There it is, baby. Tristram is complete. Got a lot of plus of strength. I shall trick for day. Got that done. We'll get another ring here. 31 extra gold, not the greatest. Now I'm literally looking for a two socketed. Uh, scepter, and then throw some stuff into it. We'll go like this. Look at that. Got some damage on that leg, baby. If I'm not mistaken, the scepters are 6 to 11, right? Yeah, 6 to 11. So a 2 socket scepter. 
Definitely the best. I mean, I think two of the two Saga Scepters would be nice, but let's just have a little funnies where it's like. More to strength. As weird as it sounds, I kind of consider double swing like the AoE or Barbarian, because even though it's not not an AoE, um, it does sometimes, or at least it seems like it targets surrounding characters. Also, it's like a crappy frenzy or zeal. <laughs> we get mana per kill. That would be pretty useful as well. I don't even remember what the Countess does. Countess is almost useless in this uh, in classic, if I'm not mistaken. Probably drops like a gem or some crap. Try to <clears throat> trying to do every quest in this let's play as well. So you gotta find it. A gem shrine. Give me that flawed ruby, baby. Twenty points of vitality. I mean, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> Where the heck is it? Did I miss it? Oh, it's right here. Jeez, these maps are insane. I was playing something different, like you know, expansion and trying to find a stealth armor or anything. So a little bit also what I've been learning. Uh, while playing, are I'm trying to learn the maps. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed this. I think every uh, champ pack has been lightning. It's been strange. So, if you, from your character's perspective, go left, 
in these maps. It's the correct way. Ow. Yep, damage hurts. probably do the tower here and uh I'll, i've got some stuff i gotta do quick um so yeah so i i guess it'll just be sporadic videos nothing set in stone of how long it has to be or anything Towers quick. Very nice. I actually want to check here. I think, yeah, it's going to be. It always seems like there's. Um, so if you look. And there's this little pattern in the map. There's always an armor and a weapon like rack. And they're pretty pretty useful. Towers are a great place to farm for like levels too. So for example, um, if I wanted to farm up, I can get to probably level 15 here pretty easily. Especially if you do like slash players. So I'm not doing any of that in my uh, playthrough. But it is an option. This is going to be some pretty decent experience here too, actually. All the champions. There's a two sockets. We'll see how um, impatient it gets. That might be my next weapon. Let me check actually down here quick. Good dexterity is not bad. A little more uh, attack rating. Basically, if uh, Akara doesn't have a two socket scepter, when I come back to town right here, that's basically it. Wait a minute, is there no Countess? Or is she in the corner here? Alright, I was about to say, what the heck? I was kind of going off. Yep, she drops crap. Yeah, we'll take those up. This is reward enough. Looks good. Alright, so we're gonna be done here. We're just gonna go through, check out the items, check out everything. And uh, we're we're done with this one. Got some boots now. Good day. So seven eights, definitely not bad.
Nope, she doesn't have it. So... That is pretty good for min damage, though. Still not better, though. Alright, this is what we're rolling with. <laughs> 17 faster hit recovery, though. Let me check. Doesn't really add much, so... Um... Keep the rejuvenation potions, keep that. We're already swimming in some good gold here. Uh, put it away, that's why not. Might want to up our dexterity. Depends. Yeah, you know, I feel pretty good about this right now. I mean, wouldn't say we're doing amazing, but they might as well upgrade these. They're pretty cheap. Yeah, I mean, feeling good. Might might slap this on just for uh, Andario. 19 poison resistance for 182 gold. I mean, why not? Going against Andario, you need the poison resistance. You get the um, 50 just from your... Uh, antidotes, because we're going to be obviously spamming that. And then you throw that on, I mean, you're golden. Alright, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next video.